Hello YouTube, this is my Key Largo 2008 160, so 16 foot boat with a 50 Yamaha. Today I am going to be doing a garboard plug change. So, uh, so my buddies told me to do the brass and it looks like it's going to fit so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So here's the old doge pulling the, the boat. So, in true fashion, I always get a little ahead of myself, and I actually removed it. The old one, so here's the old one, right here. So it went in here, like so, unscrews, if you can see that the, the screws just look stripped, look like garbage. It just looks like at any time it could fall out and it's just old so I'm actually going to be going to this to the brass so I was a little concerned it wouldn't fit down here but after buying it and just giving it a look-see it appears so it appears to work I'm gonna go ahead and Dremel it out a little bit I may end up using one of the holes already just to kind of reduce on the number of holes I have in the transom. I probably should do epoxy and um, what do you call it gel coat but I think at this point I'm just gonna end up doing uh, filling everything in with 5200. So I've got some silicone 5200. So let's see if I can show you guys that. It's 3M marine adhesive 5200. I don't have the prettiest side out. It's already in here. Like I said, I get ahead of myself. I'm just doing a little bit of maintenance. Here's my transducer from my Lorentz. Also took these out, these rusty, ugly little holders. I ended up just doing plastic in 5200. Seems like that's what was done before, especially when I took the old one out. It looks like that's the exact same thing they put on there. Found it there. Kind of been scraping, picking at it. Hopefully have a really nice clean surface. There's the inside of it. Looking in my holes. So, all right, YouTube. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled my holes and I've used some acetone. And I'm cleaning it out. It's coming out pretty good. There's still a little bit of 5200 on here. I'm quite certain it is. You can see it kind of flaking off. So again, I didn't do the drilling. I'll pretend. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, all right, there you go. For all you aficionados out there. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and keep working. And I'll try to keep you guys updated. Okay, so I used my Harbor Freight Dremel, Dremel tool. Kind of went all around the inside here a little bit. And then outside, just roughing it up. Trying to use the side as much as possible. Um, so hopefully that works. If you look kind of close, there is some, there is a crack right there. Uh, I'm not too concerned. I'm gonna definitely check it again. And uh, fortunately, I've gotten pretty good with the gel coat. So if I have to, I can Put it down put some fiberglass in and gel coat that area but i think it's just not necessary so you can see it looks like about a quarter inch or so of gel coat to the fiberglass and then wood in there i'm going to try to put a, a really good helping of silicone here on the wood and it looks good everything came out nice and dry so and again it looks like they used 5200 before so i'm just going to go ahead and continue and follow suit so hopefully it goes good. So the back of this garboard plug has kind of a kind of an indent. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that up with the 5200. And again, all clean. So here you go. I'm using 3M 5200. Put the pretty side out for you guys. And hopefully this will work really good. I'm going to go ahead and fill that up and spread that all around on the inside of there and hopefully 
get it all ready. There we go. So I filled up those three holes and slathered it around in there pretty good. And I'm gonna do the same here. Kind of slather this around in there pretty good. So again, two hand job. So I got the first screw in. I got the other one going. Everything's full of silicone. It appears to be squishing out pretty good on all sides. It's exactly what I want. And I'm going to put in this last one. And I actually think I'm going to put a little bit of silicone on the bottom because the last one was an oval and this one's a circle. And it looks like there's pretty good clearance, but it's close here on the bottom. So I definitely just want a little bit there, a little bit extra. And again, it looks like it's coming out on all sides really good. And uh, let me give it, I guess maybe a couple days before I do anything with it. I think they said 5200 takes about a week to get really hard, really good. But man, it's some sticky stuff. So, yep, going pretty good. All right, final product. It's all done, kind of wiped it around. Should be pretty good.